from Louisiana for three minutes. The gentleman from Louisiana is recognized for three minutes. Chairman Jim Jordan, I rise today to speak in favor of my common sense legislation, the House Concurrent Resolution 3, and I'm, I'm really proud that this bill has been included among our very first set of, of bills that will pass in this Congress. For Chairman Nadler to stand here, or Ranking Member Nadler now, I'm happy to say, to stand here and suggest that this does not fulfill the will of the American people or, or it's somehow not the right thing to do is absurd. This resolution is very simple and its language is clear. It condemns the attacks that have been committed against pro-life facilities, groups, and churches in the wake of the leak of the Dobbs opinion and the subsequent decision. It also calls upon the Biden administration to take action now to bring the perpetrators to justice. Who could be opposed to that? In, in recent years, there's been an alarming trend of more and more attacks on pro-life organizations and individuals. And in the wake of the Dobbs decision, the, the problem became much worse. We've seen a significant increase in targeted violence against places and people who provide care for pregnant women and their unborn children. Here's just a few of the more than 100 incidents that have taken place just in the last several months. May 5th, last year, a Catholic church and school in Armada, Michigan was vandalized with satanic symbols and messages calling for the death of Republicans. May 8th, the Oregon Right to Life office was firebombed. May 26, seven high school students in New Jersey were suspended after physically assaulting another student holding a pro-life sign. June 26, a pro-abortion extremist was charged with attempted murder in Los Angeles. July 7, Sacramento, a pregnancy care center was threatened by a man with a machete. September 24th, in Lake Odessa, Michigan, an elderly pro-life volunteer was shot while canvassing door to door to discuss an abortion ballot proposal. January of this year, just several days ago, a pro-life billboard was defaced with the words, kill them kids in Portland, Oregon. This last one that I wanted to mention is personal to me. On July 11th, pro-abortion activists vandalized the Women's New Life Clinic in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. They spray painted anti-life messages on the walls. Being located right next to the abortion provider in Baton Rouge, at the time the largest in our state, this clinic has offered hope to countless pregnant women by counseling them on all of their options and not pushing them to abort their unborn children as the clinics do. I'm proud to call many of the leaders of that clinic in Baton Rouge personal friends. We have to stand for them and stand against violence and vandalism and personal threats and intimidation. Nationwide, there are over 2,700 pregnancy care centers providing essential services in all 50 states. They serve millions of women every year. They have over 10,000 medical professionals supporting them. They do not deserve the treatment they've endured, and they certainly deserve that this Congress condemn the violence committed against them. Since there's been so little accountability for the leaked draft Dobbs opinion and the ensuing violence and intimidation against pro-lifers that's followed, we're making the position of Congress clear today. We condemn violence, property damage, threats, and intimidation tactics, and these clear violations of federal and state laws must be prosecuted. We have the opportunity before us today to start to push back against the mob that has targeted the groups and individuals that care for women and their unborn children. Republicans are ready to act. I'm so proud that over 100, I think nearly 130 Republicans so far have co-sponsored this. It will pass, and it should, and it will be a shame if our Democrat colleagues do not join us in this condemnation of violence. The question is, will they? I urge my colleagues to vote yes on the resolution, and I yield back the balance of my time. The gentleman from Ohio.